और कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे बेड़ा गरक हो गया वॉट्स एप इन माई सिंगल चैट स्टॉप स्क्रेचिंग बॉल्स राइट नाउ स्टॉप चेस इन दोम पोम गैस बिकॉज वी गैस गुड न्यूज About GTA 6, apparently it is coming from Rockstar Games, and the, the news is actually massive. Okay, like this video if you hope the game comes out early 2025. Dislike the video if you are cool with the game getting delayed to 2026. I hope it doesn't. But guys, yeah. so let's roll get it. straight into the big news story that's been going around today and yesterday all over yeah. the internet. You may have seen it in your Instagram or Twitter feeds yeah. wherever you get your news from, and that's the. What is that one social media that you use the most? Is it like uh, outside of YouTube? Uh, YouTube is technically a social media, but do you use Twitter more, X more, Facebook, Instagram? Let let me know in the comments. Any of you use Discord? Should we make a Discord server? Rockstar Games is supposedly forcing employees to come back to work. In yeah. office now. This was in oh, an article man. on Bloomberg.com by Jason Schreier yesterday. Who, if you want to question his credentials, Jason was the very first person ever to report that there would be a female Latina main character. Yeah, technically, like it was, uh, it was Tom Henderson, I believe, and then like Jason Schreier also confirmed his report that he heard the same. It was like uh, like a tag team collaboration. Yeah, I believe it was a uh, Tom Henderson that leaked the Lucia Bruna initially, <laughs> and then uh, Jason said that yeah, bro, I saw that Bruna. That too, bro. It is real. So yeah. In GTA 6, that was he over real. Four he years credible. Now he was also the person to Mouch. announce that Rockstar would be announcing the GTA 6 trailer later that week. Turns out they announced it later that day, and today he's Damn. revealed info directly from the head of publishing oh. at Rockstar Games. So let's Man, you guys gotta understand that not even the aliens knew anything about this game, and Jason Schreier was like, yeah, bro, here you go, Lucia Bruna confirm, you know? Trailer announcement coming this week, you know what I'm saying? Like, he knew he knew everything not even the aliens in the sky know about it about what the email said and what this means for gta 6. so jason says rockstar games will ask employees to return to the office five days a week beginning Damn. in april as the company enters the final stages of development on its next game the hotly anticipated grand theft auto 6. in an email to staff on wednesday reviewed by bloomberg rockstar and, and the craziest thing here is that the devs are like <laughs> we don't want to go back to work in uh, in the office <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, some people prefer working from home, and uh, I'm one of those guys, but it's like, man, we need GTA 6 right now, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't want to be 80 years old before we get this game, so <laughs> I'm all up for the devs working at the studio, man. Publishing, Jane Thoughts? Colby, said the decision was made for productivity and security reasons. The yeah. company has faced several security breaches, including a massive dump of early footage from the new Grand Theft Auto and an early trailer that leaked in December. Colby wrote that the company also found quote but, but to be honest though like I, I would not mind a leak i would not mind a leak to be honest on this one if this means if the devs are working from home if that means that the game is going to come out like early 2025 and we can also potentially get like a gameplay leak i'm down guys i'm no, down no, no, no. <laughs> I'm down. I'm, I'm with the devs on this one. Let these suckers work from home. But if this means that the game is going to get delayed, then... Get your ass over at the Rockstar Studios and make that game, okay? Benefits respectful, from in person work. Making these changes now puts us in the best position to deliver the next Grand Theft Auto at the level of quality and polish we know it requires. Along Damn. with a publishing roadmap that matches the scale and ambition of the game. So, if you've been living under a rock, or really if you just haven't been keeping up with GTA 6, which is fair enough, 90 clips of early GTA 6 development footage leaked in 2022. Yeah. This was a massive deal. Yeah, I honestly, bro, like, would you, uh, would you guys? Uh, here, okay, let's settle this real quick, okay? One in the comments right now if you are down for a leak that big once again. Uh, two, uh, two in the comments if not, nah, man. Like, we saw the trailer. Uh, uh, uh we don't want to get a gameplay leak like that. Where are you guys at with it? I personally wouldn't mind. I just hope that it's not like the, you, you know, like uh, how Insomnia games have that Wolverine leak, you know? Nah, bro, that was a little bit too out there because employee information got leaked out, their passport, their BBC, BWCs, LBCs, like everything got leaked out. Like, nah, 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 nah. I'm not up for that. But maybe like a small leak here and there because it kind of hypes up because right now even the GTK community is like, is kind of drier than Sahara Desert though. Where are you guys at with it? Can't show those leaks here because Rockstar will just click the delete button on my YouTube channel. Then, one day before the trailer came out in December of 2023, yeah. just last year, it. there was a leaked video that showed most of the Vice City skyline next to a skate park. It was like Aaron Garbid, like the... 
Aaron Garbett is the Rockstar North director, if I'm not mistaken, right? He uh, obviously is working on the game, right? So his son, you know what I'm saying? Like, he leaked the gameplay stuff to his friend, and his friend leaked it to everybody Bumbaka. on the internet. And that was, like, just a few days before the trailer, and that was insane, though. If you guys were around, I mean, we, we covered that for sure. That leak apparently came from a developer's son, and then, yeah. of course, if you were actually waiting <laughs> for the premiere of the GTA 6 trailer, you would know that the entire trailer got leaked early, yeah. which meant Rockstar had to publish the trailer early. So, yeah, safe to say Rockstar has had a lot of issues keeping a lot of these leaks contained, and it looks like they're trying to bring all of of their devs back into the studios just to really increase security so that hopefully in the future no more leaks happen from the outside looking in this also looks like it's pretty Yo, do we got like information about gta online as well and when do you realistically see this game coming out i know some people want it like early 2025 myself included like the video if you want it early 2025 uh dislike the video if you are gonna be unbothered if the game gets delayed to even 2025 or i should say 2026 rather because realistically i think the game is coming out like by the end of 2025 though but let's uh, check this good news for the release date of gta 6 if all of the devs are coming back into the office in april that really means rockstar is ramping up the final stages yeah. of production it's and hopefully final that production. means rockstar is planning to launch gta 6 in early 2025 yeah! now as part of the news roundup video in case you missed the video we made a few weeks ago there was some pretty important news surrounding gta 6's release date that we got from take two interactives investor call where they confirmed that in fiscal year 25 they plan to make just over seven billion dollars in net Jeez. bookings. So Yo, what can I can I really get like two pennies or something like Bruh. that? I mean, cannot even afford a pencil out here. Can I really get like two pennies? And don't tell me that. Don't give me a name. I last time I said that uh, there was a guy who was like, okay, go to that place. They sell free pencils. <laughs> nah, bro, I, I ain't talking about those kind of pencils, bruh. But but here's the thing though. Like, uh, I, I hope he talks about it because you know they also changed their wording from fiscal year 2025 to calendar 2025, which means uh, fiscal means early 2025. Okay. Uh, and a calendar means the entire 2025 so the game can come out between january to december and they did change their wording from fiscal which meant early 2025 to calendar now so a lot of people are skeptical whether it's going to come out early 2025 or, or not myself included so i'm not sure if he's going to talk about that but what does that mean and why is that important okay well let's break down the figures directly from take two interactive who's the publisher of gta take yeah. two interactives company fiscal year operates from april 1st through to march 31st the following yeah. year so fiscal year 2025 actually starts on april 1st 2024 yep. which is in about a month and that will go and this is what they said prior but now like when you look at their documents and when you see that uh, they they also mentioned grand grand theft auto vi coming from rockstar games and instead of fiscal 2025 FY 2025, they got it like calendar 2025 though. Yay! And fiscal 2025 is gonna end on March 2025, so this is why I was saying like early 2025, right? Because I, I don't think anybody expect the game come out come on coming out of holiday 2024. Even they mentioned 2025, so it's realistically between january to march i hope it's march too guys like listen man i i want it to in march man because uh you can, can you imagine like uh, the game dead ass coming out in early 2025 bro the hype would be insane you know for the fact that then this summer we're gonna get gameplay revealed though you know might get more screenshots the release date getting confirmed more screenshots like i said gameplay demo online gta online reveal oh, shit. yeah i think a lot of you forgot about that right like gta say it's online gonna get revealed uh, probably gonna have like gameplay on uh, later on as well so they gotta like hide this sucker up right like they, they they're gonna only have the remaining months because we already in march right now in 2024 it's crazy how time flies so if the game is really supposed to come out let's just say march of 2025 we are one year away oh, shit. one year away uh, man, listen, uh, that's like me being on planet Mars right now. That's me being like really, really excited. Uh, I don't want to get my expectations rising up because in the last previous videos, when we heard the news of calendar 2025, I was like, guys, we got to simmer down right now. And that's what I'm saying. Yo, bro, please say psych right now. 
go through to March 31st next year in 2025. So oh, the huh? company plans to make over $7 billion in that 12 month period. Jeez. Now what's interesting about that is over this fiscal year, which is fiscal year 24, that's ending in about a month, the company is on track to make around $5.5 billion in Damn. net bookings. That's so paper, bro. why is this interesting? Well, that means over the next 12 months, starting on April 1st, Take-Two Interactive is telling their investors that they're planning to make about $1.5 to $2 billion more than this fiscal year. Still confused? Let me try and make it even- Uh, yo, he is doing maths. Okay, so apparently they said 7, 7 billion, right? And usually they make 4.5 to uh, 5.5 billion. Uh, and if they want to make 7 billion, they would have to make 1.5 billion more. It kind of, yeah, I see what he's trying to, he's trying to make that connection that they gotta put out GTA 6 in March, so they can make that extra 1.5 billion, so that would boost up their average of, let's just say, 5 billion to 7 billion, right? I mean, honestly, makes sense, though. You know what, like, I'm all up for the game releasing out, like, by March 2025, guys. Like, listen, I'm not the guy that want the game getting delayed to 20, by the end of 2025, but I surely do want the game being good at launch i would not mind them releasing like for example gta 6 march of 2025 and releasing online normally they would release it like a month later i would not mind them releasing online like a couple of months after though yo like the video if you agree with that like i would not mind Been gta 6 online between april 1st 2024 and march 31st 2025 something huge is going to be releasing under yeah. the take two yeah, interactive yeah, exactly. umbrella yeah, yeah, yeah. now i'll link all the resources to their investor call below i'm not gonna get into I, they still say calendar right now which i think is one of their way to like cope with it or imagine like they have to delay i think this is like their insurance policy right so they do not um, like offend the investors they do not like blue ball the investors Bruh. and also the gamers but they do not care about you and i right i think the, them saying calendar 2025 is just a way for them to it's like a whole lot of hopium that they wish the game comes out by march of 2025 but if they have to delay if something happens some bad happens and they have to delay then they surely can i think that's what's happening but because they're still saying 7 billion but although they did say that in may they're going to confirm uh, confirm a lot more about the game so i'm assuming that by may we might get the trailer too we might get some screenshots we might get a release date i guess i guess best case scenario we can get all of that worst case scenario i think we might just get the release uh uh, uh once again con confirmation maybe hopefully a date or two uh not a day or date or two i just want one date bro yeah. i just want one confirmation for the game bro to the very specifics of every single game that they have you can fact check me if you want again the link will be in the description below but basically long story short there's really only one franchise that they have that can make GTA them about 1.5 yeah, yeah. billion dollars within a year in fact it's the franchise which the last entry in it that came out in 2013 made 1 billion dollars in the crap. first weekend that That's of course crazy. is grand theft auto 5. safe to say gta 6 should be able to make around this amount of money so if it comes out in March, they're expecting it to make like at least 1.5 to 2 billion dollars if it comes out. And do you realistically think it's going to come out like early March? I would say like it's probably going to be like mid to late March though. So they really are expecting this sucker to make. And realistically, if, if GTA 5 made 1 billion in the weekend, I, I can see GTA 6 making like uh 2 billion this time in the weekend because the the player base has expanded and enhanced guys <laughs> just like that gta 5 right the player base is big right now what are we thinking and recently we had all of these leaks guys not sure if you guys uh, if you guys uh got to see or not this was the last episode that we've done click on this video on the screen we had a ton of leaks guys on the left though this also actually happened check it out and i'll see you right there